Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here again. Today is Wednesday, August the 24th. We're on our final day of our K98 promotion. We started this promotion with, I think it was 33 guns. Is that correct, Jordan? 33. We're down to our final eight. That's right, because we did eight, eight, nine, and then this is our final eight. Promotion's going really well so far. We appreciate you guys coming to look at it every day. But these are the last ones. Now, today is Wednesday. These will go up on our site late this afternoon, and they will release for sale tomorrow, Thursday, on the 25th at noon. So if you want a chance to get some of the last ones, we have no more. This is it. Don't expect any more to pop up. Our last eight releasing tomorrow at noon. Without further ado, Jordan, let's come in and take a look at what we've got. I told you when we started, these were no in no particular order. We were just taking them as we were finding them on the pallet, and you'll see today's uh, representation is no different. Our first one is a 147 manufacturer, made in 1938, has a walnut stock and a flat butt plate. It is a pre-war rifle, but all of the pre-war weapons are intact. You can see it has matching serial numbers on the barrel and the receiver, along with weapon amps on both sides of the receiver. Manufacturer 147, 1938. Very good markings on this gun. I would have marked it up higher than that particular price, honestly. But the bore is counterboard, and this particular bore shows heavy use. There's no pitting there, but it did look a little chalky. You can see a lot of use on the lands and grooves. I would classify it as fair, good at best. We'll go to the next one. The next one's a BCD, dated 1941. It is a laminated stock with a flat butt plate. It has dual war eagles, as you can see here and here. It also has matching serial numbers on the barrel and receiver, as well as some barrel stampings and some waffins on the opposite side of the receiver. I believe that is a 1941 date for the BCD. Typically BCDs are among my favorite manufacturers and are quite valuable. This one had a little bit of a rough receiver on it as far as the texture. I don't know if that's parkerizing instead of bluing or if it was just a little, little frosty and got blued over by the Russians. Bore on this one is counterboard. Bore has lands and grooves, but it's a little bit frosty on the inside also. Now, sometimes one round through will clean that frostiness up. It's not pitted, but a little frosty. So just so you know, but good markings on a BCD. Serial number 5631. My tag's not cooperating at 699.99. We'll proceed on. Next one is a S42, 1937 manufacturer date. It is a laminated stock with a heavy blued cup butt plate. This one is pre-war also, being 1937, but all of the pre-war markings are intact. This rifle has its cleaning rod. You can see the dual waffins, matching serial numbers on the barrel and receiver, and also on the opposite side of the receiver. Again, with the bore, not a beautiful bore. Bore shows some use, but no pitting. And that is serial number 9565 at 699.99. Next rifle is a S42, 1936 date. So again, it's pre-war. All the pre-war markings are intact. Laminated stock, as you can see, with a flat butt plate. This one does not have its cleaning rod. It does have serial numbers that match on the barrel and receiver, as well as on the opposite side of the receiver. It is an S42, 1936 dated. And let's see, counterboard, as all of these are with the exception of one, bore shows use, but still strong and solid lands and grooves. So fairly nice bore on that one. Serial number 1930 at 699.99. Next rifle is a BYF. 1940 dated. It is a walnut stock, flat butt plate. 1942 date, date is a war year. No cleaning rod on this rifle. It does have dual war eagles on it. BYF insignia on top and the 1942 date. Counterboard, but has a really nice bore. I remember this bore as being shiny with good strong lands and grooves. Serial number 76215, 
at $749.99. Our next rifle is a BCD, 1944 dated. It is a laminated stock with a heavy cupped stainless butt plate. This rifle contains its cleaning rod, has a very nice War Eagle proofing beside the serial number. You can see the BCD on the top with a single digit four in 1944. They always mark just the final digit of the year. This particular rifle, the real beauty in it is in the bore itself. Pristine bore has a mirror bright finish and looks unfired. A lot of 1944 date rifles actually had no war use. So you will see they have very good bores. This one's no exception. That is serial number 50935 at $849.99. Our next rifle is a CE manufacturer, dated 1943. CE is a very desirable manufacturing code. Laminated stock with a cup butt plate, one of the prettier laminated stocks I've seen. This rifle does carry its cleaning rod, has dual war eagles. The war eagles on the CE manufacturer rifles were the smaller case eagles, but you can see them very clearly here and here, as well as some barrel stampings. The CE manufacturing code in 1943. Notes say the bore is pristine and mirror bright. Sharp crisp lansing grooves. 1943 dated rifle. That is a very nice rifle for someone. Serial number 3985 at 999.99. And our last rifle. This one is the crown jewel, so we're gonna spend a little bit of time on it. This is a BYF, it's dated 1943. Laminated stock with a cup butt plate. It's a stainless cup butt plate. We'll go over the markings and then we're gonna go over more about the rifle. You can see the beautiful War Eagle here. And it is so crisp and clear, you can still see the swastika and the talons there of the War Eagle. Really pretty markings. BYF dated 1943. Now the beauty of this rifle, folks, rests in a few things. Everything else that we've sold during this promotion has been a Russian capture. This rifle is not a Russian capture. It came out of a private collection. It was imported to the States, I'm guessing about 25 or 30 years ago. The importer has a very obscure mark up under the barrel, up under the cleaning rod. So it's not a big broadcast import mark on this weapon. You have to really look for it to find it. All of the original German capture screws are still there. They have not been removed by the Russians. You see one here and you see one behind the trigger housing. Even more importantly, the serial number here on the receiver, 5891, matches the critical parts on the receiver and the bolt. 5891 factory match to the receiver and also on the primary floor plate 5891 as well as the stock bore on this rifle is pristine and looks unfired this one still carries the original cleaning rod and the sight hood very smooth action Not a non-import, but it's not a Russian capture. Those are extremely valuable. You very seldom find those, particularly, I'm not saying this is all matching numbers. I'm sure some of the small parts are non-matching, but the primary parts are a matching number on a very nice BYF at $1599.99. Oh, one last thing, I forgot this, Jordan. Every other rifle we've sold so far in this promotion, the Russian captures have been uh, counterboard. See a eight millimeter round here. Can we get a close up on that, Jordan? This one is definitely not counterboard. It's very tight on the bullet. The bullet seats mid bullet, just like it should there. So it should be an absolute tack driver. And I'm gonna open the bolt just for safety sake because I wanna show Jordan with the camera the end of this crown. No counter bore. You can still see the original coloration on the crown. Beautiful crown on that rifle. 
as I said, this was in a private collection that came to us. We we're very blessed to have it. Somebody out there will be very blessed to have it at $15.99. Folks, once again, these are all going up on the site. Jordan, I think we've spent enough time on the rifles. These are all going up on the site uh, Thursday at noon. I hope you can get in on one of them. It's been a very good promotion. After that, stay with us. Come this Friday, we're going to be introducing a new surplus item that nobody has seen in quite a long time. I think you'll be very excited about it. Just a very few pieces left on that. So check these out tomorrow and come back to visit us every day at www.classicfirearms.com.